There's a jungle loud. There's a there's a there's a jungle loud. There's a there's a there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come win plain. It's the last thing on our mind. Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying. Be safe when you're home. Be safe in the streets. It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat. I never wear gold cause summer's always peeping by the fence. It's still crying much. Came and give TNT confidence. I had a dream in the dark. I had a dream in the spring. I had a dream. I had a dream like my new There's kid. a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. Yo, there's a jungle loud. There's a, there's a, there's a jungle loud. Crying out loud. There's a, there's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come win plain. It's the last thing on our mind. Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying. Be safe when you're home. Be safe when the streets. It's a cold place and I'm nearly feeling the heat. I never wear gold cause summer's always peeping by the fence. It's still crying much. Came and give TNT confidence. I had a dream in the dark. I had a dream in the spring. I had a dream. I had a dream like my new There's kid. a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. Yo, there's a jungle loud. There's a, there's a, there's a jungle loud. Crying out loud. There's a, there's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come win plain. It's the last thing on our mind. Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying. Be safe when you're home. Be safe when the streets. It's a cold place and I'm nearly feeling the heat. I never wear gold cause summer's always peeping by the fence. I still crying much. Came and give TNT confidence. I had a dream in the dark. I had a dream in the spring. I had a dream. I had a dream like my new There's kid. a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. Yo, there's a jungle loud. There's a, there's a, there's a jungle loud. Crying out loud. There's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna. Hi, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ian Allen. This is Crime Watch, and we are back. Top of the evening to you. All those of you who are locked online, especially good evening to you. All those of you who are looking at me from all over the world, especially. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a, a, a great day today. Hope that, um, that everything worked out for you. I know sometimes it can be a bit challenging. Those of you who might be going through situations and whatnot. You know, there are a lot of people looking at a video today with a guy that he apparently he got a, a ticket and he said his mother died and how much years ago, and he has no children, he has no wife, he has no body, and well, let's, there's some statements and whatnot, and um, wow, unbelievable, but people go through things, and that is why some of them, we must know to weather the storm, and sometimes, much as I might tell you weather the storm, you know, there's a saying, only who in the kitchen knows the heat, only who in the kitchen that knows the heat, who in the kitchen knows the heat, so, but nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, there are situations that, you know, you must... Um, just try to, just to be good, just to be good and always, you know, life is about the energy. Sometimes, you know, as I said, someday you want to cry down your life. And, you know, the environment that we live in this country, you just want to cry down. You just want to cry, you're trying, and then there are, there, are, there are the elements who will bring you down. There are the elements who will, who will look down at you. There are the elements, I mean, today, today I, I was in Port of Spain. I had lunch at District, a place called District. You must try it. It's nice. Tell them I sent you. Nice place. It's, it's, it's off the avenue. District. So I, eat, I, I, I go there for coffee or sometime in Bloom or, um, but I have coffee there. And uh, when I came out, I was just looking at, after I was leaving, and I was just like hearing sirens and coming down and I didn't seem like it was the Minister of National Security or somebody. They have a whole entourage and it's just about a, it's just about a bling. It's just about bling. It's just about bling. You know, we don't, you know, I tell you something. We don't, we don't, we don't hold over this flag with pride, you know. We don't have pride. Pride. Because they do us all kind of thing. They do us all kind of thing. 
And I am happy when I said yesterday that I highlighted the, 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 the property tax, that tax is tax for everybody. Tax is tax for everybody, and everybody who has a property should be taxed, if it comes to that, if it, if it comes to that. I mean, it's unfair for us to pay property tax, but never something small, okay, no problem. Something small, but look how they cut off the business. They cut off the, the, the because everybody, all the politicians who are up there, who who are responsible for, for drafting that legislation. There are buildings all about. People have, like I said, people have buildings all about. And, you know, you just say, well, nobody know your business. So, you know, you're, the poor man had to see about everything. The poor man, I only hope, and all this other thing. And as I was, I was mentioning, I was telling somebody today that, that the money we extracted from the, the, the property owners, the, the residential property owners in different areas, that can't really do nothing to repair no bridge and repair no cylinder and, and, fix, and pave no road. If everybody was paying in, in every uh, municipality, if every, you know, every corporation, and speaking about corporations, somebody was telling me that police went to Kuva, Talparo, some corporation. Anybody aware of that? And see some computer or something, some corporation? Or you, 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 How much Ian Allen is have on this show right now? Okay. Right, so though somebody was saying that so much businesses and whatnot in different in different parts of and different corporations and whatnot, but everybody just the poor man, but the poor man I no say in this country, you know. The small fry, the poor man, I no say, have no say, have no say, have no say. Nobody don't care about them. Everybody Everybody big, big, and everybody who big, big, everybody who up there, up there, you know, it's our MPs feel that they're big. Everybody, everybody, but don't worry, Kobo Fly High must come down to drink water, and that goes for everybody. Everybody who rank, what they was in tongue, I see an MP, and just ranking thing with him, and a ranking thing. <laughs> I just shake my head, yes. And them life are no different than mine, you know. I can rank, I don't rank. So what if you drive away, away in a, a, a suit? I mean, my, and my suit might be, be more costly than his suit, but it doesn't matter. But I just show you, just wrong. They just want to make you feel different now. Make you feel that they you know they did this and they that. But don't worry. You see the next time, and I tell you this today on national television, you see the next election call? See the next election call? We are taking chain up from nobody. And I mean it, we're not taking chain up from nobody. Whether whose side, both side, no chain up. No chain up. And it had nothing like, it had nothing like, it have nothing like, like who finance party and who get more money and uh, 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 uh. we just not taking chain up. Everybody want to hold public office. If you want to hold public office, let people see let people see inside your account. You don't think so? If you want to hold public office and, and serve, will you want to hide your money? Who want to hide money? Yeah, I want nobody to see how much money you have. I can skin up my account and let everybody see it, you know? My account. I let everybody see it, how much money I have. Call, call Karen Ruplal and I, I go say, give me a readout and print it. Show them what money I have. Or you go see 26 million, 40 million, 50 million, so what? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> like bees. <laughs> like monopoly money. <laughs> Nobody is showing you. And people ask me, like, no, I have no problem dealing with a government bank. Let everybody see how money I have. Everything I work for, I take loan. I take loan. I call Ballard Mirage. I call Sharon Karen Ruplal. I say, Karen, give me a loan again. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. I want to buy this. I want to buy that. I want to buy this. Give me the loan again. Oh, God. And then she'll come and say, time for payment for the loan. <laughs> yeah. But nevertheless, nevertheless, if you want a whole public office, I mean, where it is with people and hiding, hiding your money and you can't show what money you have. What you can't show is that you don't know how you make it. That is what. You, you, you can't show how you receive a salary at X amount of dollars and how you end up with so much money. And people don't look at them things. You know. But I just be looking, I look in, I say, look at them, yeah? They're big, they're big now, they're big in the dance. You're big, everybody big in the dance, but show money you have now. If the government, you want the whole public office, then people see that. So what, so what, you have nothing to hide? Me have nothing to hide. I can show you my credit card, I can show you fine arrears, I can show you my loan in arrears or whatever. No, but my time got it knock with it and no arrears, but I like everybody else. I work hard like everybody else. And people might say, oh, Ian Allen filthy rich and Ian Allen this and Ian Allen that. But let me tell you something. I, I, I work hard and actually you ask Ballet Mirage and Karen Ruplal and them and they will tell you that, hey, whatever I have, 
I work hard. I take out loan. I pay for it. I pay out loan. I buy this. I buy that. I, I work hard. I can show every cent. Every cent I made over my career on television from the twenty from from two thousand and eight or nine, two thousand and eight to now. I can show you, and I have something to show. There are people who want nothing to show you, and nothing. They live a whole life, whole life squander their money, lime it out, do a kind of run run woman, run this one, run that one, drink it out. And nothing to show. Big, big man. Big man of 50-something years. Big man. Get a picture of the Commissioner of Transport for me. The current Commissioner of Transport. The current Commissioner of Transport. And they are nothing to show. They are nothing to show. I still have something to show. Today or tomorrow, something happened. Not cool. Today or tomorrow, nothing, not, nothing bad will happen. Because I hear like saltfish. I hear to dry out. Yeah. Something to show. My, something, I, I see, I see uh, artists and this Calypsonian and Chutney artists and... And then them see money, boy. Oh God! Before me, them was them. Them was them. They had nothing to show. Nothing. 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 They wear brands. They're buying brands. They're doing this. They're doing that with their money. As much as I might wear brands, I just have an image to uphold. But at the, at the end of the day, I I just want them. I live a regular life like everybody. As you go and ask Balat Maharaj about me, he will tell you, I live a normal life like everybody else. I just squander money. That people like me, as, as, as they like me, they, they, they want a bottle of Johnny, they want some big time drink on the table, they want a flams. Me, I gotta take my thing in glass, bring the next one for me, please. Yeah. If two, three people like me, I'll say, hey, where would you drink in? You want something or drink something? I know that kind of person. But me, you know, kind of flams, man. I, I, as my grandmother, as my dead grandmother said, she gone, but may God rest her soul in peace. I am high fellow, well met. High fellow, well met. Everybody, friend of everybody, everybody. And speaking about friends, I want to say, you have a photo of the new committee. Yeah, they see this guy here? You see this transport commissioner, TC? This transport commissioner, I've asked ask somebody to tell you. I asked somebody to tell you about this man. This transport commissioner. Come back to me. This transport commissioner, I asked somebody to tell you about him. He's, a, he's not a good person. He's just not a good person. Hey, I'm just joking. I don't want to talk people so. You know that man and I went to school together. You know that the transport commissioner is a man from the junior sec. Yes, look where you. No, but he was. I, I don't know what class he was in, but sometime when I went to junior sec, he was there too, right? When I went to junior. Huh? Yeah, and let me tell you something. And I so proud of this man. Yeah? You know this man, and this man is a real nice fella. Like a real nice fella. I met him, I was at a particular place a couple of weeks ago. And I just chatted with him, and he didn't have one, no, you know, no, 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 no clothes with no, you know, logo or whatever. Are we talking normal? I'm by person. Let me tell you something. My head's so hot. My head's so hot. And I was just chatting with him. And normal. They say, you know why? I'm asking. Oh my God! I said, sorry, sir. I, 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 you know, you know me. Yeah, boy. What's going on? Yeah, boy. Take easy in this place, boy. Yeah, thing, 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 and thing. I said, oh my God! Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Yeah, how are you, sir? No, I, I, I'm a fella. I give people their respect. Yeah. I might find around with you, but if I see you in public and thing, if I see Smith, Smith Senior Superintendent Smith might be my friend or my line, sit down, talk. But if I see the man among his peers and his colleagues and thing, I see Senior Sub, good afternoon, yeah? I'm a person like that, yeah? I give you the full respect, yeah? Good afternoon, so Ting, 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 you know? Some people might make joke with you and they think, something you don't know. Sometimes for people, um, familiarity breeds contempt. There's, there's, and it's so true, people get familiar with you, but I'm never like that. If I see it like in a private capacity, in a social, so, you know, lineman and talk, hey, how you going, man? We could laugh on it. But if I see you, you know, you're, 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 you're in your portfolio, then you're, you're the minister, this or this, that or this, that. Hi, sir, how are you? Good afternoon, you know, sir. And they were like, why, why are you all asserting here? I said, no, I just feel that, you know, you're, that, you're, you're in the environment here, and I think I, I should give it that respect. But nevertheless, speaking about the transport commissioner, and do you know, ladies and gentlemen, he remembered me. Because you know why? I had a Michael Jackson glove. And he remembered, he said, Mr. Allen, you had a Michael Jackson glove in the school. Yeah, we used to go break dancing in the back of the building, me and my crew. Yeah, I could still break dancing, I watch you. 
One tune I could still break dance, and I said break dance, me and Johnny, a boy called Jenna, tin, 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 fear, 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 little boy. He still live off, off my cloud trees, Johnny. And um, it had Terence Marchand and, 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 and Fabian Marshall and all of them, all of them, Anderson, Anderson, Anderson something. All of them, you all went to school with me, you must, remember, you must message me. And so I see all the girls in them who went to school with me, it's so nice, and sometimes it's so good. It's so good to see where people, that's what I tell you now. Sometimes you could, you could create your own destiny. And you want to hear the next shocking part? He not from Valsane, he not from Launch Park, he not from the Moorings, you know where he from? He from the prize. My TC from the prize, my transport commissioner from the prize. Wow, unbelievable, unbelievable, unbelievable. And he's proud of that. Can I ask him twice, you're from Enterprise? He said, yes, Mr. Allen, yes. Wow, so you know, sometimes ladies and gentlemen, that's what I tell you, you know, you could be whatever you want, you know. You could be whatever you want. Look at me, and, I, and I'm a classic example. All different challenges. I went through all kind of thing, all kind of thing. But nevertheless, today I'm a better person at this. I hear, I still, I ain't say I fight in it. I ain't fighting, I mean, really. But I still keep my head above water. I think that I'm making a significant change and I, as I continue to do it daily. Make sure I stand up for the rights of the citizens and whatnot. But someday you just have to acknowledge people who did well, who came from the same road that you came from and did, and they must be commended for their sterling contrib contribution to development and, develop and self-motivation and you know, the way, the, how far they have gone. So today, we acknowledge him. God bless you, sir, and thank you. Um, let's continue, let's continue. Today is October the 10th, and um, two persons were injured following an altercation in San Juan on Monday around 5 p.m. 56-year-old man was reportedly visiting his girlfriend at Irvin Street in Pitibu when he got in an argument with a 17-year-old who, who lives at the home. During the altercation, the man pulled out a knife and stabbed the teen once in his left side of his face before he ran through nearby track on the eastern main road. However, a 24-year-old man who was a friend of the teen armed himself with a cutlass and chased the man before chopping him, chopping him on his hand and head. Neighbors saw the fracker and contacted the police. So, I tell the trouble easy to come, and that is why sometimes... That's why sometimes you have to know where you're going. You have to know who you're associating yourself with. You have to know. Associating yourself, right, is a very important thing, you know. If you associate yourself with people who cry down their life and hold their talk in politics, and you see race talk, I hate race talk, I detest race, that this is a, this is a black people party and an Indian party and an Indian party and an African party and... I don't want to hear that. I don't want, I just don't want to hear it. I do, I hate it. I hate it. The very smell of race talk. Leave it for the race track in Santa Rosa, not for me, because I will lock you off. I will, as I find you, and once you start associate yourself with people, you, before you know it, you start to look at things differently. Because the people you associate yourself with, once you start to assemble with them, you start to resemble them mentally, by thoughts, by ways, by habits. You start to resemble who you assemble with. But if you start to assemble with bright people, you start to assemble with business people, like I myself, I might know a couple of ambassadors, consulates. I know people, prominent people, businessmen. They give you ideas, former politicians. I like talking to them, finding out how you think about the economy, what could be done, blah, blah, blah. You learn a lot. Then you sit down, you have a bottle on the table, you drink. I mean, sometimes all that is necessary to have something. You need to, as they say, I ain't condemning nobody. I mean, we all do it. If I, I mean, sometimes I call my partner Rajiv, right? Rajiv Dipnarain Singh. He and I have been friends like since school days. They're my partner, they're my friend. That is my friend. I tell everybody, I get a picture of Rajiv. They like when I put up his picture. He's a good friend, he's my good partner. We might go a bit, I'll make a little lime, come back, I might call. I'm right, I'm like Rajiv, I'm I call Baldat Maraj, right? Look what they Baldat and I, Baldat and I were liming, yeah, Baldat and um, Baldat Maraj and I were liming, and um, he sent a nice pit here, right? He had a, um, a little thing, and a, 
all of us, you know, there's Bal there's Ballet Mirage from the bank and thing. And you learn, you learn, you learn about the economy. You, you learn things. When you're, and that's what I tell you. If you really want to go further, know who you are assembling right now. Sometimes you are, those who you assemble with, it could tell you, it could determine how far you will fly. That's why your, your attitude could determine your altitude. Something you need to adjust your attitude. Something has so much in things out there for you. But because you're, you're, you're a bitter person, because you're always angry, you like to cuss people, you like this, you like that, nobody can correct you. No, something you have to relax yourself. You have to relax yourself. You have to relax yourself. But don't get tired. Because sometimes in life, I tell you this, I tell you this, sometimes in life, people see success in you before you see it in yourself. Remember, I, Ian Allen, tell you this. So now you work in companies and you find your peers and your co-workers and they wouldn't like you. Because you know you get things done and you know you're, you're, you're a self-starter, as they say. You're a self-starter. You're the, you know, you're the fix-it guy, as they say. You know the job. And so then people know your potential. You see when people know your potential in your life, let me tell you something. Sometimes, boy, you see so much of persecution, yeah? You see so much of persecution because people see your potential. Sometimes you don't see the potential in you, you know, but other people see it. And that is why my good friend, the late and the former Prime Minister, Patrick Manning, Patrick Augustus Mervyn Manning told me, he said, Ian, people do pell green mango. Well, if you're making tomato, uh, mango talc, is different, but people do pell green mango. He told me that today, he said, Ian, people do pell green mango, you know. I said, you know, that is true. And that's what I tell you, that sometimes people see that you, you, you are going to be somebody. You are going to be great. You are going to get a job. You are going to be promoted. And they, they, they see it in you. Sometimes you can see things in people. You, know? you can watch somebody and say, see that person? He will come out one bandit here. Yeah? You see that person? That person is in no way. You see the attitude and how they move and they want to fight and they want to beat somebody and then jail go pick up with them. You can just watch somebody, but then you, you watch somebody so and you say, you see that person? You see that fella? Give him a couple of years. That fella going places. Oh, watch that man taking course and thing. Watch that man saving him money. Watch that man buy a little car. Watch how he dressing. Might be doing a brand name shirt and thing. But you could see he have potential. You see when you see, and you see when people see potential in you, they persecute you. Always remember that. It's two P's you could get. It's two P's you must understand in life. Persecution and potential. When people see potential in you, once, you see, once, once a company see potential and your co-workers see potential, they will start to persecute you. Those that are higher, those that are above you will start to persecute you because they realize your potential. They realize you could take over things. They realize that you come in to take their job eventually. When their job becomes obsolete, after a while, company will want you again and they take you. So that is why that is why, ladies and gentlemen, don't get frustrated when something I want to leave our job. I don't like them. I don't like them. I don't like this one. As you see, as I tell people, the same devil you're running from in Trinidad is the same devil in America and all over the world. You know? It's the same devil and you know? it's the same persecution, it's the same problem you're going to meet. You know? Make it right here. Do it right here. When you can do it right here. Well, I, do, I, didn't, I didn't have to leave this country to better my life. I did it right here. I did it right here. You know? And if I had to do it over again, I will do it back right here. I, tell people, I do it right here. And that's what I tell you, the best time to sow, the best time to sow is in the midst of farming. Sometimes God keeps you back in farming and make you sow on the ground in farming time. And that is what I did in farming. Hard times, I started to work the soil, as they say. You understand? So, at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the day, don't bother with nobody. You have potential. You have potential. We have a beautiful, we have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful country. Trinidad and Tobago is a beautiful place. We have nice beaches, we are nice women. You have all kind of thing here, all kind of thing you can get here. But just a handful of people just upset in this place. I'm not talking about any hundreds, you know. Maybe about a hundred, a hundred and fifty. Could for the most. If every division, let me tell you, every division, every division, it have it have, it have Northern Division, Central Division, Northeastern Division, Southern Division, Western Division, Southwestern Division, Port of Spain Division, Eastern Division, Tobago. Every division have a file. And who are the lawbreakers? Who sell any drugs? And who sell any guns? You know what I would have done? Let me tell you what I would have done. I would have taken, I would have taken the information I have on, in Northern Division 
and give it a sudden, to Southern Division. I would have taken Southern Division information and give it to Western Division. And let them go after the lawbreakers. I wouldn't use my own people inside the division because, again, affiliation. Maybe, maybe they might be socializing with the people and them, socializing with the lawbreakers, socializing with the drug lords. They might bounce them up in a little club, in a little party and whatnot. So it's going to be hard to lock them up. It'll be hard to come by the house. But if I get people from the outside, because there are plenty, plenty of times, numerous times, numerous times, I have gone into districts and never call persons from that particular division. You know? Not because I don't trust them, but because sometimes they, they, they might have a little affiliation. They might maybe socialize a little bit, bong some the, bong some the lawbreaker, bong some the drug man, bong some the gunman in our party. So it, it, it's very hard sometimes for them to go by the people's house. Because first thing they say, boy, me out again that because that man is always seeing me every day. So right, use people from different divisions. And that alone can solve crime because if you already check it, once you start to deal with the heads and them in different areas, like central division, if you ask me how much people selling drugs in central division, like the real, I ain't talking about them scrunting people selling a little half a kilo and, and think that they are Pablo Escobar and, and have a little gold chain and feel that they're big. No, we're talking about the movers and shakers. Are you talking about the movers and shakers in Central Division? It have about eight. Now you say about eight. About eight. Not no big, not no real, real players. But if I start to, if I start to dismantle the eight, eight of them, the organization, how they're bringing it and how they're trafficking, and get them keys, lock them up, when they get gun and thing on them, what happen? And everybody on the bottom going to know what time it is. Everybody going to know, everybody going to know on the bottom what's going on. So if you start to do it, that, that's why in this country, all is not going on, it's just a handful of people. But you remember the, the Minister of National Security does not have the testicular fortitude to deal, to deal with the criminals. Imagine I am held, I am the charge, I am, I, I am charge of the um, Security Council at Trinidad and Tobago as the Prime Minister. Boy, we can make here so safe, yeah? All we have to do is enforce the law. We didn't matter to bring so much police officers. You go to Singapore. Have you ever been to Singapore? I've been to Singapore a couple of times. I have been to Singapore. And it, when you walk the road in Singapore and thing, boy, you watch me. We went to a club called Babyface. Those days I went with a, a partner of mine. We went to China, Guangzhou, the, the trade show in Guangzhou. And I stayed in a place called Taiping. And during the break of the trade show, we flew across to... to the, um, what's the name of the place I'm not telling you about? What's the name of the place? Uh, what's the name of the place again? Where? Where? When we face um, in um, Singapore, sorry, my head's so my head is big, 100 miles per hour, you know. And let me tell you something. It's not police, something, and the body streets clean, but brother, man. If them catch you with drugs, if them catch you with a gun, well, boy, it's better, it's better you didn't born. Because the law is in force. You can't chew chewing gum because chewing and chewing gum. Just for you to understand, you like the little Trinidad accent, a chewing gum. We don't say chewing gum. We say chewing gum in Trinidad, chewing gum. Give me a piece of chewing gum. You have a piece of chewing gum there? You understand? The law is in force. And, and you see, bringing bring in more police or bringing up from 300,000, you don't need all that. All, it's just a waste of taxpayers' money. Look at how much billions of dollars for the uh, billions of dollars. And all you have to do is enforce the law. All you have to do, you are lawbreakers, they catch you with a gun, we deal with you. And we deal with you different. We start, here, here what we start to do. We have to start to, we have to start to do like, have night courts. Go down Shagaramas, have different courts, building night court, night courts. Night courts, yeah. And okay, we, 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 we could do it by um, in camera or we could do it in Zoom or whatever. And uh, night courts, yeah, we are night court. For, yeah, and I, we bring out a series of judges. Bring them out and pay them. Bring them out and pay them. And just tell them that from 7 to so on, 7 to 10, we are this. And expedite the cases. And you see, and you see, lawyers, no, lawyers will realize because our lawyers like to like the adjournment here yeah? because that is how they make money every time to go every time to go back to court because the court the, the matter is adjourned, 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 adjourned. No, it's not adjourned. You you rob a man, you stab a man as they say, and five years that going on. No man pay the price one time, bam, bam, bam. 
settle it one time. You're paying the man for damages, whatever you're doing, bam, 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 and done, and be moving on again, and start to slack it from 6 to 10, or from, let's say, from 5 to 10. And you have night court, circuit court, bam, bam, bam. No, no, you don't even have to move around because you have internet, you can sit in front of their computer, and they get judges to do that. You get judges to do that. It's, it's so much things you can do to deal with the crime. We, I tell you, we don't need all this money. All that money can go to you to better. How much cameras, billions of dollars spent? How much cameras on the road working? If your car stolen, how much hundreds of people have lost their cars for the year? Five, six, seven hundred people lost their cars for the year. And up to now, up to now, you're paying loan. Now all this stand up for, and waiting for the bus. But the bus stops sweating, sun beating on you. But you're paying loan in the bank and you are no car. But if we had cameras working properly, we could have seen when they pass the back road, I could have seen when they cut across by Price Plaza, when they go through Endeavor, when they pass so, when they pass in Egypt, when they pass by so, when they come out back in Montrose, because the camera on each area working, so you start to know where they went. But cameras down, and they, and they did, a, and they did a, a survey, and they realized how much, how much more than 50, 60% of the cameras in them down in this country. They got footage, you can even get a footage, all kind of thing, all kind of thing. All kind of thing. We should have, and sooner I think, and, you know, so much things, so much things to deal with crime and we could do it. Those who come out on bail, give them a bracelet. Give them a bracelet. Give them a bracelet. Let them have one a bracelet. All them rapists and them, let them have one a bracelet. Everybody's innocent till proven guilty. Let them have one a bracelet and clear up the jail. You can't tell me man in jail calling shot. We, we, we don't have phone in jail. I don't want to make you behave. I, I afraid for you to behave just now. I afraid for you to behave. So I tell you, use your phone. No, you in a jail. You commit a crime to come here. Nobody send you here. This is not a holiday. You did something wrong. A heinous. You commit a heinous crime, and you are in here because you transport drugs. You kill. You do whatever you have to do. No, you you, you see anybody in America have phone in the side of the prison in the cell? No. Of course, you will, you will have a time. Maybe on weekends. You make your one call, or every other weekend you have a visitor, or whatever. We could do it like that. Fix the place nice, fix the cells on them nice, and let people know what they were going on. Now we fix it nice, work class business here. But you're going to behave. You have to behave. We compromise with the criminal elements too much. And that is why sometimes they, 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 they have, they, they, they can overpower us, they, they, they ahead of us. It's just a management problem, you know? and that's why I want to tell people who live in America, living in London, living all over the world, all is not going here, you know. It's just a management, but it's a clear case that no politician in this country seeks the interests of the citizens. Nobody. Everybody's for themselves, what money they could make, how they could fill their pocket. It's two things around this country, bubble and nepotism. Bubble and ne nepotism. When they get into power, they, they make their money and they hire their family and their friend. Full stop. Who gets the contract? The family and the friend. Who gets the AGC houses and whatnot? The family and the friend first. And then you. That must stop. You're telling me 10 years people waiting for an apartment? 10 years? 10 years? No, man, that could never be. That could never be. And I don't believe in a lottery system. Don't spin no paper in no, in no cup and tell me they got a number and I got a house. Check and see how far my application has reached and I deserve a chance. I can't be waiting for 5, 20 years, 10, 11 years, 8 years to call. There are plenty of single mothers who are trying. But I, I just tell you, you know, that this place, it just bothered me whole day. I was just thinking and driving and just thinking all kind of things. I'd be thinking all kind of things, you know, how we could better this place. This place is a nice place, you know. I was looking at a video a video. Children fighting on one side. But I saw some children during Teacher's Day in some school, and we have the video. How they went out and they hug up the teacher, and that looks so nice, yeah? And you see to the persons who fighting and coughing up people, I'll kick you out of the system. I'll kick you out. I'll give you a three months. It's not about sending no boot camp and thing. Let them sort of pay. Let them sort of feel the full brunt of the law. Let police come and charge them for assault. Let the parents of the victims of the children who get stabbed, they beat an autistic child in South, cough him up all in the head, autistic child. A semi-autistic. Semi and beat up that child. No, we don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want that in the school. In, 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 we don't want that in school. You have to behave. I don't behave when you go up the road. All we have to do is to put down our foot because we're just wasting money. We're just wasting. 
We just wasting. We're gonna take a fast break and when we come back, I'll show you that a positive video with some kids. Go ahead. Light up your Diwali with amazing offers. Get Eve Black Eyed Peas 3 for $19.95. Eve Pineapple Slices was $23.95, now $17.95. Nestle's Condensed Milk 2 for $29.95. Mabel's Mixed Vegetables 3 for $24.95. Axion Dish Paste Bacterials 2 for $19.95. Nestle's Full Cream Milk 1 liter 2 for $24.95. Your Play Yogurt 2 for $19.95. MP Processed Pigeon Peas 3 for $24.95. Pear Drax 4 for $19.95. Happy Soya Bean Oil 1 gallon was $79.95. Now $69.95. Shop and win one of six mystery trolleys packed with goodies from your favorite brands valued at $5,000 each. Spend $300 and over to enter. Find entry boxes at all SNS Passat stores. Three convenient locations, one in Rio Claro and two in Mayaro. SNS Passat, loyal to local. Go live with Ian Allen and let the world take notice of your business. Be seen by millions on all our platforms, Facebook, YouTube, our iOS and Android applications, and website, ianallen.org. Our network showcases you to viewers locally, regionally, and internationally. You'll be seen by millions. Just imagine, our YouTube platform for 2022 has gained over 16 million views. In 2023 so far, we've already crossed millions and counting. Our iOS and Android downloads have surpassed the hundred thousands. Since 2016 to present, over 47 million people have viewed our videos. That is proof of our reach worldwide. No other network can outdo our proven performance. No one can beat us. Your live will stay on all our platforms indefinitely. You'll even own the rights to the production. Let Ian Allen transform your business and take it to a place you never thought possible. Call us today to book your spot. The millions are waiting. Thinking of giving your home that modern finish? Then visit ABC Bar Doors and Windows. We are the largest supplier of hardwood finishing goods. Get kitchen and pool tiles, faucets, doors, windows, sinks, and so much more. Come in or give us a call. ABC Bar Doors and Windows, always a better choice. Is your business or company not making money? That's because no one knows about you. Advertise on Prime Watch, the number one show, and watch your business transform. Call us at 294-4081-225-4327 or 225-3250. Is the sun or rain costing you constant repairs? South Coast Awnings has your solution. We provide prompt, efficient service at unbeatable prices. Roofing and gate fabrication also available. Call us today for a free professional consultation. At South Coast Awnings, we've got you covered. Celebrate with Daisy's exclusive this Diwali. Get up to 50% off store wide. New arrivals on draperies, bedding, sofa covers, kitchen curtains, curtain accessories, tablecloths, shower curtains, and bath mats. Visit us at Maynard Chagonis and Pennywise Plaza today. What once was glass is now plastic. You get all the benefits of glass without the drawbacks. And only Gable X packaging will get you there. Plastic application works with all the existing capping methods, so the change is simple and seamless. You get visual clarity without the fragility, as well as less scuffing, scratching, and label tearing. We do PET. PET brings many advantages. You get durability and rigidity. It's more economical, durable, recyclable, and beautiful. Our purpose is to help you profit from what's inside the package. And the outside profits the plant. Get ahead of the competition today. Contact Gable X Packaging Limited. Thank you, friends and avid viewers, as you continue to support Crime Watch via our PayPal and FCB account. Support Crime Watch with a minimum donation of $5 from anywhere in the world. Donate via our PayPal, oneen.allen at gmail.com, or wire transfer to FCB account 1898739 with the SWIFT code. Be a part of the movement. Now, this is Radical Trading, you know that? and them have everything to cover anything. Radical Trading have the best fabric designs for your poster and needs, yeah. The furniture, car, boat, tent, even material for school bags. This will look really nice on my couch, boy. They even making pillow too. Frank. Oi. Oh, shucks, I forget for money. Serious? They could pay for it for me. Me and my big mouth boy, I want a Radica get thing to cover mouth yet. Radica Trading, four locations nationwide. <laughs> Janice, where's your secret? Your place always so clean and organized. <laughs> well, girl, I've got a secret. It's Sir. Sir? Seriously? 
You have a man come in to clean? No, girl. Sirs, an amazing new line of cleaning products. I'm talking about kitchen sprays, bathroom scrubs, even laundry detergent. They've got the whole house covered. So your secret weapon is Sir? You bet. Sir cleaning products are a game changer. Not only do they smell amazing, they're effective and affordable. And this Sir definitely wouldn't judge your mess. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing the Sir Collection, a wide range of affordable cleaning essentials for every corner of your home. Discover the secret to a clean home. Available at all leading supermarkets nationwide. Tell him all about living good. Look, somebody, not somebody, my good friend, just came back from abroad and sent me a, a messy T-shirt or original, yeah? With signature and everything from Messi. Look at it, beautiful. Wow, unbelievable, yeah? Mr. Paint. I tell them, friends, friends, it's a sugar that's kind of love. You know, friends, you know, friends, they know, you know? I mean, me, you know, football man, but, you know, they're at least, yeah, I really wear small. Yeah, boy, enter what? Okay, club thing. I tell them, when you know about football, you have to cool yourself. But anyhow, when you see I come out with this Saturday, I'll wear this. I like this kind of back and all thing. You know? Is that bad? Wow, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Thanks, thank you, um, Mr. Paint. Chris Ballyram, thank you again. I appreciate it. That was very nice of you. I tell you, as he taught, you know, that's what I tell you, you know, a gift make it away. Always, you know, when you see a gift, sometimes somebody can be real falling out with you, but always, you know, when you give somebody a little gift, or you carry something for the children, something you can't take on somebody, but something they, they invite you and say, look, I bring a little gift for the boy. Look, I bring a gift for your daughter. Hi, look at the present. What? They're going with that. Hey, Mr. Allen, bring a little present. That was so thoughtful of him, yeah? And I don't go by, you see me? I don't go by people party and things. They saw people get walking with friends and I'm not like that. And I can't go to people's house and have a little birthday party and not go with something. If I just stop somewhere and get a bottle, of, well, remember, remember the, maybe the cologne and thing I might wear might be very costly. But the thing is, I can't pick up that. This is 700 years, but I mean, kind of Christian or something, but at the end of the day. I was trying to stop somewhere, I would call somebody and, hey, I want to get a cologne fast. Or, you know, and still carry, carry something. Hi, you know, I just stopped to buy, you know, or a nice bottle, I could bottle of wine or something. Hi, it is a happy birthday to you. It's surely best. I am that kind of guy. I am that kind of guy. Always remember, a gift. When you give somebody something, they think, boy, I, tell you, I don't know. And it's so, that is a true thing, a gift. Now, he's coming back to the advertising, right? But I say, you know what? After I see a jersey here, I say, hey, give him a nice pop-up. Give him some pop-ups there. Give, give, give Chris Baliram some more pop-ups. It already gets a gift. People don't know the power of a gift. Always remember, when you give somebody a gift, boy, a gift, and remember, I tell you on national television, a gift, make it a wee. And it's so nice, and you know, that idea with the pop-ups where you see, and I told them every day, Run it four times. Everybody who advertised with us four times, run it. Because while, they, while they're sitting down, you're getting your, your ads. While you're looking at me, I know we have about five persons to call from up the islands and whatnot, right? You're looking at me. At least you could see, see the person product. And you see, and it's, it's not a matter, okay, your people pay for the ads and that's it. I always try. If you tell me, I, what they saw a floor that was damaged. I say, you know what? Chris, Mr. Paint could fix back that. They could have the paint on the floor and smoothen it up and thing. Once it, it plastered properly. He, di he did it and I, re I recommend it. No, I don't, I'm not the kind of guy that say, well, hey, you give me a, a two towel. I do them kind of thing. I do them thing. People might say, hey, you know, like a, take some, I got work, but you recommend me. Me, I don't do them thing. I don't do them thing. I, if people, watch me. If people know how to treat me, let me tell you something, yeah? As I tell you, I had a real terrible attitude. I dare very difficult to deal with, yeah? I difficult. But let me tell you something. I like a genie in a bottle. Once you know to rub me the right way, you like that, Charlene? I like, I, like, I like a genie in a bottle. Once you know to rub me the right way, boy, I will come out and do anything for you. Take what I tell you. And I can watch me. Once you know to tell my mama, hey, boy, yeah, hey, you're going well, and boy, yeah, hey, yeah, people just don't know. You just don't know. What's that? And you only have to say, hey, I find you look small. Oh, God! What are you drinking there? Man, bring drinks, man. Bring drinks. Bring drinks. 
They say I go by the river line when I see and they just say, Mr. Now you look small, boy. You look nice. What? Bring thing there, boy. Bring thing. Bring thing now, man. Bring thing to drink. When you and your friends and them drinking. Well, they don't, or, don't, 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 don't try that. Yeah, don't try that. Anyhow, one of the men who were arrested in connection with the Arima quadruple murder has been also charged with the murder of Jason Lazama, which took place in June the 2nd, 2023. The suspect was identified as Clint Hernandez, a.k.a. Bill and a.k.a. Hernandez was charged for the offense. And I'm going to tell you, you know, charged with the offense before the Arima court on Monday, the 9th of September, and 9th of October. Hernandez was also the second person to be charged with killing Lazama. Tuesday, the 19th of September, Shuvan Singh, a.k.a. Smallman of Arima, Valencia and Garapu, also appeared in court with charged with killing Lazama. So it had other people who were charged for killing Lazama. It got it, got it, got it. And that is why I tell you something, you know. Now, that, that thing with, with, with bail, you see, you, you see bail for murder? Now, it have a certain, de, and, that, and that is something this week, I'm I trying, I'm putting it together. I put, but that bail for murder, partner, that is a no-no. Now, it have cases where murder, that, as I tell you, you're going home, you see a man in your house, your wife, whatever, whatever happened, bam, bam, bam. What is that? But you know, we philosophy, whatever, I could wash, could use back, but sometimes, you know, you, 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 you think differently, you do something wrong, you chop, you know, something, 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 or you push down somebody, murder thing, different, different, class, classified differently. But you see that robbery? You see going to a home and robbing somebody and, and killing them in a home invasion? You see going to a, a corner or going by a bar? And pulling out a gun and shooting in a sporadic way, and 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 and, and just people fall on the ground, and this one gets shoot, this one gets shoot, two two succumb to the injuries. No, you cannot get no bail for that. You cannot get no bail for that. You just cannot. You just cannot. Different class, not murder, murder, murder. Yes. If you know how to do it. But I tell you. We haven't, we haven't, and we see, we as a society, and based on our crime statistics, we should not have gone that way. We should not have gone that way at all, at all, at all. I do agree with that. I do agree with that at all because it damages, to an extent, our witness protection program because, again, these people come out, and when they come out, they will deal with you. Their mother will tell them, their father will tell them, William, you see, will neighbor William or neighbor Wilma, she they talking to the police, huh? Yeah. Then they will talk to the police when they get charged. You see when, when you see when they go so, and the police car come and pick you up. Then they was on the phone. I know it's them. So you don't know outside already, and you see neighbor Wilma every day. So you don't know well. Hey, hey, hey. Right, love this scene. You understand? Also, ladies and gentlemen, CCTV footage captured two men robbing a school boy on his way home from school on Monday. That's so sad. And the boy looked like he started to cry. The boy looked like he started to cry. Watch. Watch them. I, 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 where, where this took place? Tell me. Where this took place? Watch. Normal. Normal. And they're waiting. Look, they're waiting. Poor boy going home. So not all the time is a fight. Watch. He going home. He with his friend and them. Watch. Poor boy, watch. He had a little bag in his hand. Watch. Hey, give me all your money, boy. Give me all your money. Watch. Watch. That's sad. Watch your partner now watching. He run. He, he frightened. Give him all your money. Watch. Take out the boy's phone. Take out everything. You think that easy? You think that easy? That's why we have to deal with them. That's why we have to deal with them. Let me tell you something. You see this reform and trying to reform people? You see this thing all about reform and reform this one and re yeah, and reform this one. We pass that stage of reform, you know. It's how people cannot be reformed. They're just bent on living a life of killing and robbing people. Don't come and tell me about reform and it's a program. Of course, you must have program in, in prison while you're incarcerated. You'd have programs where you could do O-levels. I, I support that. You, 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 you could, while you're in prison, you got five years, you do O-levels. You could do a master's. A master's will take a year. Right? You do master because yeah, watch my year got to go nowhere. You see, not only and you're picking up a book, you could do O levels, yes, you could do A levels, you could do a master's, you could do a degree. If your brain can't take it, you don't you learn you learn a trade when you come out, well you know, you know what I mean? 
But at the end of the day, ladies, it are people who just can't, they just can't reform them. You cannot, you cannot, they, 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 they hard, they're bent on killing people, they're bent on selling cocaine. So what you have to do? You have to deal with them, you have to deal with them. It's how people cannot take reform and we have reached a path, we have reached a juncture in our society that we, it has no time for reform again. A nice talk, well, you know, let me, let's talk, let's meet. I don't want to meet, what are we meeting for? What I'm meeting, you killing people, what, 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 what are we going to tell you? Send police to deal with you. I like when I hear you take out guns to shoot at police, I like that. And what happened, he did? Well, okay, well, you had no right to do that. It's how people cannot take no reform talk. They just bent on wreaking havoc in every community. It's how people like to rape. They like to see young girl waiting for taxi and, and pretend to be a taxi driver going so or so or so or and, and lock the door and go and carry us somewhere. It's how people like to do that. It's how people have vice to do them thing. It's how people vice to go in a, 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 a home and, and have people husband on the ground and people raping their wife. It's a case like that in Trinidad. But just people are coming out to say that. So when they read these monsters and they make no reform. What reform? What reform? What, 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 what are we talking about reform? All this should be the deepest part in jail. You understand? Look, I mean, you telling me, them, them robbing, them have any right to rob? People, it has so much thing to be robbing a little school boy for. What are you doing that for? My craziness, boy. Let's take a fast break. Santana boy, you can pick me up? Yeah, where you? By racetrack wheels. Boy, I went inside and I lose my mind. It's the best in brand name rims and high performance tires for so. They have special, so I make my name. Ha ha ha! Panarain, you don't have a car? Patsy go kill me! Race track wheels. Number 330 Eastern Main Road, Aruka. Number 64 Southern Main Road, Chase Village. And number 82 Bethlehem Road, Tobago. Is your business or company not making money? That's because no one knows about you. Advertise on Crime Watch, the number one show, and watch your business transform. Call us at 294-4081-225-4327 or 225-3250. Farbinger Expo is back, the fashion house of Trinidad. Farbinger Expo, located opposite Medford Gas Station in Shabonas, will be reopening on Saturday, October 7th. It's bigger and better. Getting married or attending a wedding, need temple wear or casual outfits? Then you need to check us out. Find something for every occasion. We've added two new boots for children wear. Get matching jewelry, footwear and accessories. Your one-stop shop. We've got a wide range of furniture available. Need to pick up lunch or dinner? Then check out our multi-cuisine food court. We've got the Fabinia Arcade and Meraki Spa, a complete family outing at Fabinia Expo, opposite Medford Gas Station, Shogunas, from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. daily. We're open on weekends and public holidays.
Go live with Ian Allen and let the world take notice of your business. Be seen by millions on all our platforms, Facebook, YouTube, our iOS and Android applications, and website, ianallen.org. Our network showcases you to viewers locally, regionally, and internationally. You'll be seen by millions. Just imagine, our YouTube platform for 2022 has gained over 16 million views. In 2023 so far, we've already crossed millions and counting. Our iOS and Android downloads have surpassed the hundred thousands. Since 2016 to present, over 47 million people have viewed our videos. That is proof of our reach worldwide. No other network can outdo our proven performance. No one can beat us. Your live will stay on all our platforms indefinitely. You'll even own the rights to the production. Let Ian Allen transform your business and take it to a place you never thought possible. Call us today to book your spot. The millions are waiting. Neo Eyewear presents its latest designer eyewear collection. Come in and see our new arrivals of Versace, Giorgio Armani, Michael Kors, Coach, Ray-Ban, Kate Spade, Fossil, Marc Jacobs, Boss, DKNY, Nine West, and much more. Call us at 390-3196 or 672-5052. Find us on Facebook. We carry one of the largest selection of spectacle frames in the country, over 1,300 frames to choose from. Janice, where's your secret? Your place always so clean and organized. <laughs> well, girl, I've got a secret. It's Sir. Sir? Seriously? You have a man coming to clean? No, girl. Sir's an amazing new line of cleaning products. I'm talking about kitchen sprays, bathroom scrubs, even laundry detergent. They've got the whole house covered. So your secret weapon is Sir? You bet. Sir cleaning products are a game changer. Not only do they smell amazing, they're effective and affordable. And this Sir definitely wouldn't judge your mess. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing the Sir Collection, a wide range of affordable cleaning essentials for every corner of your home. Discover the secret to a clean home. Available at all leading supermarkets nationwide. You know, I'll tell you this, sir. I'll tell you this. Um, you, you all saw this? High Court Judge Frank C. Passard. High Court Judge. Uh, no, Great guy, he's a real, real intelligent man, a real nice fellow. I tell you, a nice person. He's a really, really nice, a nice judge. And um, this is what I heard that High Court Judge Frank C. Passard made the decision to freeze assets amounting to 27 million of six former, six former employees of Ansa Bank and six roll on roll of companies. Ladies and gentlemen, High Court Judge um, Frank C. Passard made the decision to freeze assets amounting to 27 million of six former employees of Ansa Bank and six roll on roll of companies on Monday. The employees in nine, this happened on the 9th October. The employees were identified as Randy Gotslebin, Gotslebin, something like that, and his wife Adria, um, Adriana Ram Singh, Dwayne Rojas, Zaria Sanka, Navindra Rambaran, Rayan Rampasad, Rivan Rampasad, Kerry Ramsarup and different companies, import, Arnold Ramjast, A. Ramjast, Auto Mechanical Painting Garage. Very interesting that the employees conspired with each other with, a, with the roll-on roll-off companies, presented fraudulent documents, and made fraudulent representation to the bank, which caused the bank to advance over $27 million in loan. What craziness is this? What craziness is this? 20, the, uh, <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. Un, un, let me tell you something. Eh? Wait. That person holding that phone. Let me see that person holding that phone just now. Okay. But nevertheless, ladies, it matter before the courts, but nevertheless, that's what I tell you. You, know. you see a name, your name is everything. People name, you will die. But you see a name, and if you have children, when they walk the road, they say, your father was a decent man. Your father, like, today I was chatting with the son of Grenfell Kisun. He was once the MD for 
in answer, for answer. In TV station in, 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 in town, Grenfell Kisun, and I told his son, I said, you know what? I said, your father was such a decent and distinguished, distinguished man. I worked with your dad. Your dad advised me a lot. Uh, it, was, it was an honor to have him advise me on my show and how far to take my show. I'll never forget him. Great person, great, great. I tell you, this guy, he knows TV. Yeah, what's that? Yes. Yeah, you, you put it up? Right, never. And, um, and that's why I tell you, your name is everything. And, and, your, and children feel good when they could hear your father is a, was a decent man. And sometimes we have jobs and a lot and you know, where we have responsibilities and we have access to things. We have access to money. We have access to this. People give you positions. And it's sad. It is sad when you see persons, persons do things. It's just sad. It's disappointing. It's very disappointing. Very, 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 very disappointing. Very disappointing. And your name is everything. And that's why I can tell people every day now. Some of you might like me. Some of you don't like me, which is good. I love that. Because if everybody had liked me, that means I'm doing something wrong. I'm doing something. Anytime everybody like you, something wrong. You see, you see when there's sometimes people like you, some don't like you, that means you're doing everything. You're doing it right. You're doing it right. And that is why I could stand up. Every day I could stand up and open up that phone line. Nobody could say Ian Allen is a con man. Nobody. I tell that today. Nobody. Nobody, 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 nobody. I might be all other things. I might be a lima, a party man, for drinks and cook up and lime man. But you see, nobody could say, Mr. Allen, you con me. You con me at 300,000. You con me 500,000. I paid you for an ad and you never run it. Me, not me. If I know somebody paid for an ad and two days they didn't see it, I have, I have a, the entire team to go back into the archives, go back, and, go back into that show. If that man didn't see his ad, I want to know, watch that whole show. And then tell him, no, sir, your ad, your ad ran. And maybe when the ad was running, maybe you get up to go for tea or go to the washroom and you didn't see your ad. I take those things serious. I don't play that. I don't want nobody to say they pay me and I, yeah, I not like that. And if, if I stay on my day and we have a rerun, Make sure that the people know that they, they, have, they have a live day inside. A next day, a free day. Yeah, I don't play that, I don't play that, I don't play that, I don't play that. And that's why I tell the ch children who want to go into like, the banks and, and, and different places to work and things, your name is everything. And that's why my, grand, my grandmother told me, and my father said that, when I passed my common entrance and thing, and I started to go to school and thing, and they said that, anytime in school you're teething and you're doing the wrong thing, don't call us. But you see people fighting, or somebody beat you up and then call me. You know old people like that, you could call me. You could call me. But you see when you're stealing and you're going to people bag, your school bag and taking things and things, don't call us. Don't call us at all. Don't call me. Don't call me. Can't come and beat you in front of the school. And not a day my mother never ever come in school for me for no thief and thing. Yeah, a little fight and a little shipping and something and you know, I get licks and thing. But not for no wrong thing. And I, I, I just look and I say, look how the principal of the school the, 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 trans, no, sorry, the transport commissioner went to Capuchin, my junior second. In those days, it had Mrs. King. I wonder whatever became a Mrs. King. It had Mrs. Bacchus and Rubero and all, all these people, Bruce Well and all these nice teachers. All these nice teachers. That school is such a great school. And it had discipline. It had discipline. And I remember Mrs. King, she was an art teacher. And I remember when we were leaving the school, she came out with a song, which that was our graduation song, like a bridge over troubles, like a bridge over troubled water. Well, I sing that a hundred times. Like a bridge over troubled water, I will lay me down. And you know, and I had a nice white shirt and a little black tie. I think that's the first time I wear a tie. I remember for graduation, I think Mrs. King. I wonder whatever became of her. I don't know, I don't know. But she was the art teacher. You know, but they were great people. They, they, they were serious teachers, you know, serious backers and all of them. And great music teacher. And an Indian father there, he was a music teacher there. That's a Maru and all of them, boy. Great people, great, great people. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to show you something, yeah? 
I heard there was another bomb threat which was reported at Presidential College in Shagonas early on Monday. You all saw about your soil? We have to really deal with this person, yeah? Who's doing this? We have to deal with them. I think... What is that? Yeah. Look at this. You might notice I'm, the, I have, I'm on a new account. I deleted it. Bomb, bomb threat 27 at Gmail. Check it if you want. I'm sorry for sending fake bomb threats at your school, but this will be my last. I've been dealing with depression. And it's a serious thing. It is a serious thing. It is a serious thing. It's a serious thing. And that is why I tell you, whether who like it or not, and if we hear, if I hear cases of foot and mouth disease and I put it up, too bad for you if you don't like it. I am not, let me tell you something, let me tell you something. I am not going to be friend with no prince, just to be friend with a principal. And let them chain me up and say, well, yeah, everything under control. I'm not playing that with people's children, you know. Let me tell you that, you know. I'm not doing that, you know. If I know it have a bomb threat, it have a bomb threat. If I know it have foot and mouth disease in the school, and you have one case, let everybody know. Let everybody know. You understand? Let everybody know. And also, I think we need to do, I think the Ministry of Eye Culture need to do a little more ads about this African snail. Eh? Because sometimes a lot of children don't know, and they might see these snails on them, and they will touch it and they will pick it up. And it, I think we need to do a, a, a stronger campaign about the impact of touching these snails on them and what could happen to your hands. You understand? Because it's a serious thing. Somebody you're driving out here, you're, you're, you're driving out my compound and you're seeing it all on the road, all kind of thing. And it's a serious thing. Sometimes you have kids riding bicycle in the community and they might, they might touch it. They might say, hey, look at a snail and go so. And you never know, you never know, you never know. So we have to do a stronger campaign. Also, before we take that break, I just wanted to show you some kids and a positive thing that they did. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hi, welcome back. We are in the fire. We have audio. Yes, yeah, so today is World Teachers Day and we're going to be giving out some gifts of appreciation to our favorite teachers and the teachers who we like to get your We have audio. Okay, okay. Right, you see them making the teachers and them smile. This is nice, but I couldn't play the music in the background. What's the teachers there? And I thought this was very nice. How they interacted with the teacher. That's nice. Watch, 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 watch. This one dancing and thing. Watch, watch, watch. Mr. Cacho Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Well, as much as it have children, you know, strange enough, yeah? The media will show all kind of thing, but they will never start the news with this, you know. Look, so collecting a little chocolate. So, how are you going, boy? Look at chocolate, like up yourself. This is nice. And that's nice. Oh, that's very nice. All right. Watch what they're giving you. Miss Hyde in she face. Miss, look at the chocolate girl. Look at this next one. Watch, you see? How can I be teacher? What? This is nice. Oh, this is nice. Why well, it have children cursing the teachers and fighting? Look at nice. Look at what? Miss, you gonna open my cafe? Look at love, love like dove. What they like this one? Look at this next one. Oh God, this is nice. This is nice. This is a good campaign. This, should, this is what you should be showing. The positive side. Oh, that's the alphabet fella. This is nice. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. He get chocolate. The alphabetic boy. And he's making the videos and thing. Stefan, they like him. All this is nice. He's a school teacher, you know. Yeah, watch. Give my chocolate now, teachers. I could have do it all the chocolate. She gave a hug up there, right? This is nice. This is very nice. While everybody fighting and cussing mother, this and thing. I want to beat teachers. Watch a nicer side. This is what Trinidad is all about. A little wash your mouth on the children. It have good children. Not everybody who wear a uniform bad. This is very nice. And you see, nobody will show this. And poor setup. Take the audio down and poor setup. What's that? It's about international television. Who is there? Children, all they bring a chocolate. 
children are looking at having a little chocolate for me and a little television and the one, number one show in Trinidad. And I didn't say that. You know, this is the number one show in Trinidad, right? There's no news. There's nothing to beat back this show in Trinidad. I didn't say that in all the statistics. Go by the cable company, ask Flo. Say, what is the statistics with Ian Allen? It is the number one show, the most views. November night is my anniversary, you know. That is my day. That is the day I started off in 2016. And hold on, from 2016, that is my anniversary. Here we're going on the 65 mils. Watch your boy, you know. 65 mils, you know. Watch your boy, you know. 65 million people. Watch your boy. All right, so I'm going to take a fast break. When we come back, we'll continue. Hey, before we go, hold on. Happy birthday to Balchan and his granddaughter, Mr. Balchan, sorry. Mr. Balchan, happy birthday to you, sir. Great people, great people. Happy birthday, Mr. Balchan. I spoke to him. And his granddaughter, she celebrated her birthday. Balchan is a real nice fella, you know. Kiran is his son, right? But they're good people. They send food and for me. But real good. But happy birthday, Mr. Balchan. I wish you all the best. Health and strength. I call them, I call them. I call them great people, great people, great people. Let's take a fast break. I batch and reckon. Go ahead. Light up your Diwali with amazing offers. Get Nutrimix flour 2 kilograms, $16.95. Eve fruit cocktail 2 for $19.95. Salco oil 1 liter, $19.95. Yellow split peas 2 for $19.95. Oreo smiles 3 for $19.95. Yum yogurt 3 for $19.95. Nissen cup noodles 3 for $24.95. Chef Pro Parboil Rice $74.95. Chelsea 4 kg parboiled rice and 5 liter oil banded $89.95. Aqua Pure Water 330 ml case $6 for $99.95. Shop and win one of six mystery trolleys packed with goodies from your favorite brands valued at $5,000 each. Spend $300 and over to enter. Find entry boxes at all SNS Passat stores. Three convenient locations one in Rio Claro and two in Mayaro. SNS Passat loyal to local. We are professionals in general construction, paving, asphalt services, and preparation of residential and commercial developments at Liquid. Construction Services Limited, our team of professionals has the knowledge, experience and resources to make your projects run smoothly, on time, on budget. We supply red sand, gravel, oil sand and more. Equipment rental available, 20 ton excavators, mini excavators, porter cool, bulldozers, concrete pumps and so much more. Contact us today for a free site visit and quote. First five orders will receive a gift voucher from Raquel Muda or a Robert Graham polo shirt. Army Hardware and Superstore Company Limited. We make hardware shopping a lot easier and affordable. We have everything from foundation to finish. New Wave or Al Using Circular Deck and Pan, pre-painted PVDF, BRC Grade 1 Red Blocks, Eco Cement, Corrugated or Smooth Steel, and so much more. Approved by the Trinidad and Tobago Bureau of Standards. Come into any of our two locations, Derek Roaches Village or Royal Road Aruka. Give us a call at 671-3001 or 692-3629 or WhatsApp 384-2530 for quotations. Is your business or company not making money? That's because no one knows about you. Advertise on Crime Watch, the number one show, and watch your business transform. Call us at 294-4081-225-4327 or 225-3250. set. I think it's more millions than this here. I think it's more. I think it's more than this. This is Monday the ninth, right? I think for October alone we got five hundred and ninety-one thousand on the ninth of October. We have it. Hurry up. Yeah, just in October alone, in nine days in October, five hundred and ninety-one thousand people watched my show. Just imagine that. Watch and not only the show, you know, your ads, your ads. If you 
don't have things prices to attract people I could prom promote you I promoting you I show the world who you are I show the whole Caribbean who you are if you have good prices what you want me to do you understand I show you out on the tracks I showcase senior but you as the advertiser have to have good things for people to come you understand you have to have it you have to have it um, hey, happy birthday to Sherlyn. Happy birthday, Sherlyn. Alive on national television, yeah? Okay. I want to say a special hello. I want to say a special to a nice girl. Nice girl, Sunita. Happy birthday, Sherlyn. Okay, I'm sending a picture on the group. Put up this a nice girl. She's a nice, she's one of our. I know all these supermarkets advertising, but um, she's, from, she's the owner of SNS Passat, Sunita. Amazing. I wanted to tell you something about somebody get beat up, a person who get beat up, right? And um, here we're going on. She from, she's from Mukarapo Secondary, a 13 year old girl. Get beat up real bad. And she went to hospital in St. James. Yeah. I needed to tell you that. Okay? Happy. Um, also, I want to say a special hello to Sunita. We have the photo ready? Right. Will we see Jiba, please? Thank you. Right, so happy. Um, I'm going to say happy birthday, Sunita. This is from SNS, SNS Passage, Sunita. Wish her all the best. One of my good friends. And, um, also, as you know, SNS Passat coming to St. Mary's, right? And um, yeah, somebody said we started the show before 2010. Happy birthday to Sherlyn. Sherlyn, hi, happy birthday to you. All right, wish you all the best. Sherlyn is locked on too. Hi, Sherlyn. Wish you all the best, right? Wish you all the best. And um, hey, I'm trying to get this for you all. This is, this, this is craziness, yeah? I mean, this is craziness. I'm trying to get the um, mother of a 13-year-old girl, Ava. The mother of a 13-year-old girl who was beaten at Mokarapo Secondary School. She's currently at St. James Infirmary Accident Emergency since 1 o'clock. You know. I, wonder, I wonder if she saw the doctor or anything. Okay? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see. Hi. Hi. Hi, this is Ian Allen. We are, we are live on national television. Um, don't call your daughter's name, neither identify yourself. How was your daughter doing? What exactly happened at the Mokarapa School? Um, just hold on a minute, okay? Yeah. Right now she's inside seeing the doctor from since after two today. Uh huh. Now she's seen a doctor she after two? Yes, yeah, she now, yes. Yeah. Well, the nurses checked her out and they put a sling in her hand and right now she's inside with the doctor. So she was beaten badly at the Mukarapo school? Yeah. Huh. What is the police doing about it? Well, well, it's not me, right? This is it's my aunt's phone, right? Because my aunt's inside there with her. I know, I know, I know. But she took her. She... She took her to the police station and she gave them the report, gave her medical to bring it to the doctor and right. then to the get police will deal with it from there. But I'm, 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 the right, so tell so let everybody know that I called and, and this incident has engaged my attention. Okay? But Thank I mean wish her speedy sir. recovery. If there's anything we can do, please let me know. Thanks again. No problem, Doc. Thank you. Right, so this child was beaten in school badly, boy. Just imagine that at the arm. Um, let me tell you where. Let me tell you where. I know I have to call back so much people, they won't believe it. They would not believe it. At Mokarapo Secondary School. Just imagine that beaten. You wait, and since 2 o'clock, you're waiting to see a doctor. 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. After, almost after 7, you now see a doctor. You think that is slackness? That is not slackness to have a 13 year old child. Get beat up in school and now seen a doctor after so much, but I see again 
again they know what they're doing because they want people to go into private nursing homes they are their friend they are their family they are everybody so that is why sometimes it have a twist to that and sometimes you, you really want to know why they're doing that but sometimes it's a money-making thing to drive you out of the public hospital to go privately you understand to do that but that's real sad that's real sad but why should people suffer boys suffer at these hospitals and them and with four or five hours we have a population of 1.4 million people and you're telling me we have so much money look at how much money hell getting how much money just go back to that allocation of funds for the budget please for 2023 just go back to the, how much did hell get how much did hell get hell get how much seven point something billion dollars and last year they get the same thing and every and that money is just for a year just for a year with a population of 1.5 and you tell him look how long you have to wait for a doctor and there's not persons who could go swipe a, 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 a infinite credit card or something or a black or a platinum card and say here we're going on now um i have to go to the i'm going privately people there are people who will have to sit down and take the jam in but it's so sad it is so sad it is so sad that's why all these things have to fix but when you take a pharmacist ladies and gentlemen and make him the minister of health how he understands he doesn't understand the operations the operations of a of of, of, of a hospital he more understand the, 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 the politics and whatnot he's more a politician remember he said that he said first of all he's a politician and politician mama guy people politician tell you where you want to hear you understand he's a total failure as a minister of health total failure he, our our people our our poor people our elderly we suffer with they, they suffer when they go to the hospital you can't even get medication you can't even get certain things on seed up a lot of things a lot of things a lot of things and he does not care he don't care he don't care he just stick up on the government officials in by rolling what they stand up next to him looking for somebody to talk to him he's a loser this guy's a loser a loser a loser but nevertheless nevertheless everybody will have their chance but you know what is sad you know what is really sad that when they get these positions and when they come out how they can face people when they walk around and say well you are a very good minister of health what you did for them what you did suddenly you, 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 you come out and people can always say well hey when that man was when that man was the minister but he do this he build this he helped me he helped this one get a job this one give her agc house but watch me that man real help people you can raise your head when you come out of office i wonder if some of them can raise their head raise their head and walk the road that's why you don't see them because they're shame because they do nothing for nobody they do nothing politicians when they come out of office they make sure they full their money they full their pocket they make all the money in the world and that is it politicians are like that you understand but people don't care about the name the name like the name don't matter you care about you care about money you care about status you care about everything else but you don't care about your name your name is important your name is important your name is important i always tell people that your name is important i call a good evening your life on crime watch and just imagine a 13 year old and after the sea sea results there are a lot of children started school 13 years people baby you know you know come out from primary school their children who still sleep between their mother and father them as children them going out there they've been beaten in school stab up like i watch an autistic child beaten oh my god why it have to be like that why 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 you don't have to be like that man we have to put down our foot with those who come out to break the law we have to put down our foot ladies and gentlemen we have to put down our foot also ladies and gentlemen three people three arrested firearms ammunition and cocaine seized during a police exercise in north central division between 3 p.m and 7 p.m officers conducted a surveillance in malabar district where they intercepted a teeter motor vehicle with two occupants the officers searched the vehicle and found a nine millimeter and other magazine 15 rounds of nine millimeter ammunition one pair of silver handcuffs war both men were arrested yeah crazy that's crazy look at that normally no normal normal in a car also ladies and gentlemen a pensioner died after he accidentally shot himself by cleaning his license shotgun at his home in san chiquito on sunday the deceased was identified as 76 year old day and around my haze of lezama trace in san chiquito san grande around 10 a.m my haze was reported at his home cleaning his shotgun when he actually shot himself in his stomach so he might be cleaning it so and doing so and cleaning so and bam going off wow that is why those of you with firearms with license firearms make sure before before you check you, you check the barrel you, you do what you have to do get proper training if you're not you know go to somebody's place that train you to use a licensed firearm make sure you understand your fire make sure you know that you have a safety 
around 11 a.m. He was supporting at his home. Tina shot God when he accidentally shot himself. So a pensioner died. Those of you looking at me all over the world, we lost a pensioner because he shot himself but just by accident. So sad. So let's be nice. Let's get a good energy. Which road is that? Yeah. He, he mentioned the name of the street, some Spanish. Mongol Street, right? Mangre Street in Deva, Mangre. Put it up. It has some Spanish moving around in a car to rob people in the night. Watch them, they're moving around in this AD wagon. Up and down. Up and down. Watch them, watch. Watch what they're doing. Spanish people in a car. Watch, watch, watch. People coming from work and that's what the Spanish and them doing. Watch what they're doing. They're moving in a car. Watch what they're robbing people. This is what they're doing. Look at this. A man running in the bush. Fella no poor fella no coming from work. Why we don't send back these people, boy? What we have these people doing here? Let them go back. Let them go back. Time to clear up this place. Time to lessen the load. Like to lessen the load. We did, uh, we, 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 we did well. We make money on the head. Government get millions and millions of dollars. Having these people here. International funding. They get money. Oh God, we'll send them back now now. Time to go back. Look, look what our nationals, look what people in Trinidad are experiencing. Hey, let me tell you something. Me, I, 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 I'm condemning everybody with the same brush. Yeah? But some of these people and them, whether they like it or not, them just love their own. You know? And who taking chain up and feel that they love and this one love me and that love. Them only love themselves and they love their family in Tokopita and, and, and Caracas and Margarita. They say, what they doing? Watch, watch. Boy now coming from work. They beat up the boy, take him money, take his cell phone. Hit him some hard cough. Hit him a little stab and thing. And he gone, watch. Normal. Who get... Boy. Look at this now. You go, you know, man. There's a little back road right in there, you know. But I tell you all here. I want to get the number of that car. We want to get the number of that car. The number of the vehicle. There's the number. I want to get the number. Anyway, we can see the number. I can see the number in that car. I see it. Once I get a second. Put it, take off the, the watermark, put it on the back computer, and get a number for me tomorrow. Get a number for me tomorrow. We go deal with them. We'll deal with them. Get it tomorrow. Look at it. Open up the lines. Open up the lines. Open up the line, sir, please. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Look at this. This is real sad. This is real sad. We give them food, we give them clothing, they tie up the farmers and them. We're still looking for these people and them, yeah? We're still looking for them. Edwin and his wife. Still looking for them. Do well, you have any idea where we could find them? Anywhere? No, they're still in the zone. They're still in the zone. I tell you, I'm working on something real big now. I'm working on something real big. I'm working on something real big. They come in here, they're rubbing you, they're chopping you up. They're doing you what you want. That's real sad. We have never, you remember, they, they watch me, some of these, some, some of these elements, they, they, they commit heinous crimes. Chopping you differently, slitting your throat, taking out your guts, taking out your, your, your body parts, all kind of differently, you know. And we bring these people here, you know. Bring them here, you know. Just imagine that. They work by the farmer for two years. Then take all the money and, and put gun by the head and they're gone in there. This one in the black hat. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Yeah. Good night. Good night. You're doing a very, very, very good job, Mr. Allen. These Spanish people, his family to the PNM government, how would they go back? Thank you very much. Oh, God. You're the best I hear this family. 
All of we is one family. The ladies say, these Spanish people and them, it's family to so all these DPN and people. But listen to me, we just, they just had to go back. Some of them had to go back. They can't be breaking the law so. Well, ladies and gentlemen, all those of you who stay up tonight to watch me and think, I hope I really inspired you. Go after your dreams. Stop procrastinating. Get up this morning. Get up in the morning and do what you have to do and mobilize yourself and pursue it. Stop putting it off. If you had to paint your car, if you had to go do a degree, if you had to start a business, if you had to start to do search for your products, whatever you have to do, start doing it. Because time, time, time not waiting for you. Time going, time going. Time going. Start to prepare for, for Christmas, for Diwali, and not Christmas as yet. Diwali first. I see some people jumping the gun. Respect Diwali first. Well, ladies and gentlemen, any more calls? Hello? Hello? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Ian Allen. Have a wonderful night. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm working on something. That's all I can tell you. I'm working on something. And tomorrow we will... Well, before you wake up, don't worry. We're working on something. We have our eyes on something, and I'd let you know. This is Ian Allen. Have a wonderful night. What's up me on 294-4081? Those of you wish to advertise, these are the numbers, right? These are the numbers. Make sure. And also, if you have information about drugs and guns, go to ianallen.org. That's ianallen.org. Have a wonderful night. God bless you. Good night. Thank you. <laughs>